Application of Vectors Navigation, Example 2. So here we've got a pilot desiring to travel 200 miles in one hour on a bearing of 145 degrees. So that's where we want the plane to actually end up. Let's try to draw that. Remember, bearing is measured from north. So 145, let's see, 90, that'd be about 55 degrees more. So something like this. This angle would be 145 degrees. The length of this vector should be 200. If I want to travel 200 miles in one hour, that is a final speed of 200 miles an hour. But here's the thing. The pilot can't actually just aim there directly because there's a north wind, a wind coming from the north, blowing south at 50 miles an hour. That wind is going to push on the plane, impacting both the speed and the direction. So the idea here is the pilot is actually going to have to aim the plane somewhere over here so that when the wind interacts, the result is the direction and speed that the pilot wants to travel in. So this first vector is vector A, the airplane vector, and the second vector is vector W, the wind vector. The one that I drew at the start, that is this time the resultant vector. That's the result I'm trying to obtain. So here's my vector R. What am I being asked about? I want to know where should the pilot direct the plane? In other words, I want to know about vector A. I want to know about the bearing of vector A, and I want to know about the length of vector A. Those two pieces of information will answer these two questions. Well, as always, the math comes down to triangle math. I do need to think about angles here. The only angle I have is the 145 degrees. Somehow I need to connect that with this triangle. I think I can easily figure out this angle. That angle plus the 145 must make 180. So that would leave 35 degrees for this angle here. And then again, there's some geometry. The y-axis and the wind are parallel, which means this angle is the same thing. It is also 35 degrees. And that's exactly what I needed in this picture. I have another SAS situation. I can find the length of A, that missing side, by using the law of cosines once again. We can do the math quickly. So I've set up my law of cosines using 250 and the angle in between them, 35 degrees. To get C, all I would have to do is square root, go to the calculator, and I've got it. Okay, I think I've got it typed in there, and so that comes out to be about 161.6. Well, that is the answer to the second part of the question. The speed of the plane, what gets programmed into the plane, is 161.6 miles per hour. Notice in this problem, the wind is actually speeding us up a little bit. Right? I'm actually going to travel 200 miles per hour. Part of that is due to the speed of the plane's engines. The other part is I'm getting a boost from this wind. Okay, what about the other question, the first part, the bearing of the plane? Where should the pilot actually direct the plane so that it ends up with a bearing of 145 degrees? In other words, I want to know this bearing right here. How am I going to find that? Well, I can use the triangle. I think what I'll have to do is find this little angle in the triangle. And then if I subtract that from the 145, I'll have the bearing that I want. Well, I can just set up a law of sines relationship. The complete pairing that I know is the one with the 35 degrees that's matched with the side we just found, the 161.6. And according to the law of sines, that's equal to sine of that little blue angle, I'll call it angle beta, divided by 50. Well, after I cross multiply and then divide, I'm going to end up with sine beta is 50 sine 35 divided by 161.6. And so, of course, beta is just sine inverse of that ratio. And then we'll head to the calculator. So sine inverse of 50 sine 35 
divided by the 161 number, which I'll grab, and that gives me about 10.2 degrees. The 10.2 is this little blue angle here. So to get the bearing of the airplane, I'll have to take the 145 and subtract off that 10.2 for a final bearing of 134.8 degrees. That's where the pilot should head the plane. The wind will then influence the direction so that the plane ends up at the desired location. Thanks for watching.